Look, Investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmata. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. regards you lifelessly. Tunnels from the cellar. Refuge. A poison blade. Paralysis. Dwarf, dressed in red. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Hiding Brilgo from fists. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. <laughs> 